Hello, it's Monday morning. No, it's not Monday morning, it's Monday afternoon. <laughs> and you should have just seen a little clip of me gessoing the front of the missile. I should really call it the art journal now because it's not really a missile anymore. So I shall show you that. There it is, the cover of the book. And I'd put the purple and pink inks on the gesso which was over the picture but it was quite bright and I didn't feel that it went too well with the burgundy round here so I, I had some, it was from a wedding album when I used to be a photographer there was a spare kind of one of the, the tissue type sheets but it's thicker than tissue so it was kind of opaque so I've stuck that over put my little words on the front there and I have started I have started to do stuff. I did, I kind of wanted to record it, but I kind of wanted the first ones to just not be recorded. This is the work in progress, this bit. I haven't finished it, but this is one of the new inks that I have bought because, uh, oh, I'll tell you that in a second. Um, <laughs> I was gonna glue some collage pages and stuff on this because this is the only page which hasn't been stuck to anything so this one there's there are like three pages or something other and then they're all five pages but I kind of wanted to keep this I know I've put the, the ink there I kind of wanted to keep this original so that then this bit and this bit are kind of the the more original bits I might put something over the top of that that is the book started to the exciting news, my coffee goal, coffee.com, where you can either do a one-off donation or you can do one of the three tiers to support me and get some benefits as well from the, the middle one and the top one. Doodles, drawings and paintings. Yeah, doodles is just supporting me. Drawings is you receive a free colouring page every month and paintings is you receive the free colouring page and you get a greetings card every month that I send via Redbubble to you. Anyway I did have a goal on that when I set it up was £30 for buying some more of the inks um, and Linda's membership went through so that means that I reached my goal. I, I do need to set up a new one actually. <laughs> And uh, so I shall show you, I went, I was going to order them online, but I realised that a local craft um, shop has them. So I went along yesterday and I spent a bit of money. So here's the haul. The set that I originally was going to get was a set of six, but I did realise that the £30 would have covered the inks and the delivery, but I don't physically get £30 because coffee takes the money and... PayPal takes the money and obviously then the paintings tier that I have I've got to spend money to to send the card so I decided I would just get five they did have some packs of six but they weren't necessarily the colors that I wanted so they had individual ones so I got five inks uh, oh what to start with we'll start with that what's this violet this is um, this is a pearlescent one Moon Violet, Indigo one, and this is Silver Moss, which looked a little bit more grey on the, they had a little kind of colour chart thing. <laughs> and then this one is Antelope Brown, although it does look green in the thing, but it is brown. And then Sap Green. I already had the olive green and the uh, purple lake. I already had a bronze one, a magenta and a turquoise. But this morning I had a little play with them in my sketchbook. So these are the colours. You can really see the pearlescentness of the violet and the silver moss. That's pearlescent as well. So they are those. So I shall have great fun with those. I wanted some alphabet letter stamps. So they're really, really dinky. <laughs> so tiny little uh, stamps. I got the fancy ones. There's a quick little look about 
what they look like. Um, they were quite cheap, they were two pounds. So I don't know if a if a a more expensive set would be better, but it's it's fine for what I want at the minute. And then I needed some black ink because I tried some of my old, old green ink and it just all disintegrated. And then I saw this as well and I just had to have this. <laughs> Although having said that, I do have some purple ones. So maybe I needn't have got that. I also got some washi tape, which I hear so much about. We've got butterflies on that one. It was funny because I was trying to look for this and I didn't realise how small they were going to be. I'm thinking I, I'd gone up and down and hadn't seen them and all of a sudden I, <laughs> I heard this, this grandma in this aisle going, washi tape, washi tape, what is washi tape? And I was like, I need to go into that aisle. <laughs> so it was the next one and sure enough there was washi tape and her little granddaughter had said that she needed some washi tape so... <laughs> Thank you to the grandma <laughs> that was asking what washi tape was. Now, the collage papers and stuff, I love recycling. And I have kept so many kind of uh, wrapping paper from presents and envelopes and all sorts of ephemera of paper stuff. And I will use them. I will use them. But I did see this. And I wanted, I wanted it. <laughs> Butterflies! For those of you who don't know that I have a gaming channel on Minecraft, I am called Adela Butterfly. So, butterflies are a recurring theme. So, I got that. I was going to get, the, they had the smaller one. I was going to get the smaller one thinking, actually, that's probably, that's probably enough. But when you look at the size of some of the patterns in here, which is not easy to do, I thought actually I preferred the size of the patterns in this one and they are very pastel and very bright but obviously with the journaling you can kind of put the probably put the, the antelope brown over it and kind of dull them a little bit and then I saw this one as well which I really rather liked as well so that's kind of all my colours I can flick through this one better actually. She says, ah, too quick. <laughs> you get the gist. The other thing that I'd had wanted to buy uh, was what Linda had mentioned actually, a white gel pen. I couldn't seem to see where they were. So I'll have to order those online um, because I think I need some more uniball pens anyway. I've been really pleased with the Uniball pen because it seems to have lasted a lot longer than the Faber Castle one. Did I say Unipin or Uniball? I can't remember. That's what it is. That's what I'm talking about. The Faber Castle ones, I tend I tend to have to always use them in the same orientation after a while, but this one actually hasn't done that so I think I'm going to order some more of those as well so I'll probably get the jelly pen or jelly roll or whatever. I've heard jelly roll pens. So that is the art haul and um, I need to finish this painting this week probably and play a little more in my journal. Work out some of those thoughts because not there yet and I may be going to the Mucky Duck tomorrow to cover somebody that said I might be able to do it if nobody else can and so far nobody's been able to do it and I, we need to hear from two people to see whether they can so I, I might be in the Mucky Duck tomorrow. Well it has got round to Wednesday and I haven't done any more of that watercolour painting but I was called into the Mucky Duck yesterday to cover a shift so I'm in again tomorrow that has absorbed all my time. So I, thankfully for you, this will be a quick vlog. <laughs> I've just been doing a couple of pages in the Altered Book Journal. So I have done those. Again, recording is going to be tricky at the minute because it's, it's getting darker earlier. So like I say, I wanted to keep this bit with my granddad's name on and I wanted to keep this page as well. 
these are some words that uh, she'll know who she is but <laughs> somebody said to me about the book I remember Angry Hobos saying that uh, why was I sticking the pages together? Was it to make fewer pages in the book or was it to make the pages thicker? And it was a bit of both. But this is this is kind of what it is because you see how kind of wrinkled that is with where it's taken the glue and it's taken the paint and things. So that's really a bit crinkly and that's only one page. Whereas this... Is not quite as crinkly um, that is only I think that's only two or three so that's not quite as thick as the other ones are going to be so yeah that was part of the reason for that oh yeah I've used some of the new satin moss uh, no what was it called I wanted to say satin moss but it wasn't silver moss on there which is is the pearlescent so you can see that shining in the light you can see it on there as well these fungi were a print out that I did on the internet, off the internet. I'll try and remember to link. This was as well, I found it on Pinterest. So I just printed that out and cut out bits. You can find loads of printable stuff on Pinterest like that. But yeah, I'm really pleased with those two. I, I don't know if I want to put something up here. I was toying with the idea of putting another couple of the fungi on there um obviously not like that and actually I've used one of them but I'm gonna leave it for the minute because this is the beauty with these things you can always come back and add things or go over things I was maybe thinking of putting the year in here so 2021 maybe um I've also written this missile is for me because I read, I think it was in one of the pages that got stuck together, it said something about this missile is for you. Obviously speaking to a Catholic person, but I do feel, even though a missile is specifically kind of religious, I do feel that this book, like this says, is, is for me to work things through. The other thing I have just done is, this is the October pages for the Garden Art Journal and I have just used up some of the leftovers. Look, you see, there's the fungi <laughs> for doing October on there. So as it is like the 10th of November, I need to I need to get started on November as well now. <laughs> but these are kind of the, the muted oranges and yellows of the, the colours of the leaves in the garden and the and the kind of yeah earthy earthy tones that everything's going i hope you didn't mind that i didn't go through any of the the art the altered book kind of steps on camera because i wanted just to get a little bit of a feel of what i want to do with it and i just wanted those first ones to be kind of private for me to to play with so maybe next week I might do one on camera and have like the whole process um, because I have got kind of I know it's it's just a play in some people will do the pages and then they'll write in a separate journal and then when the pages are dried they'll write that thing on the pages so I, I kind of want to do that and I want to do some of them in the moment then but I have got an idea of how I want to construct the book I kind of want to start at the beginning and work through so to begin with I won't be I won't be expressing the things that I'm going through at the minute like right now if you understand what I mean but I will I will put some of the processes on videos yeah thankfully for you hopefully it's a short one if you have liked the video please hit the like button and consider subscribing and I shall see you in the next one bye